FTS announced AFTS is ready for launch. AFTS is ready for launch. Gas close as is complete. VC verify F9 in startup. Falcon 9's in startup. Stage 1, stage 2, pressing for flight. LD verify go for launch. Go for launch. T minus 30. Minus 20. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. T minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Recognition. Falcon 9. Falcon 9 is in the tower. Vehicle is pitching down range. Plus 50 seconds into flight, you heard the call out on countdown net one. Avionics is nominal. Earlier, we heard propulsion call out a nominal call for the nine Merlin 1D engines. Next major activity coming up in just over 15 Falcon seconds. Maximum dynamic pressure. Falcon 9 currently has gone supersonic. Vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. T plus one minute, 30 seconds into flight. We've heard the call out. The vehicle has gone through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. That's where the velocity of the vehicle and the density of the lower altitude of the Earth's atmosphere combine to create the greatest loads on the Falcon 9. The Merlin engines throttled down and then throttled back up to full power in preparation going through this phase. So currently we're at full power, continuing to head towards stage separation, coming up at about 2 plus, T plus 2 minutes, 46 seconds. Now there will be a sequence of activities that happen very rapidly in just about 35 seconds from now. You'll hear Miko, main engine cut off. The nine Merlin first stage engines will shut down. Four seconds later, we get stage separation. Seven seconds after that, the upper stage engine ignites to propel the second stage and Intel sat into the parking orbit. Let's watch and listen as we come up on Miko and stage separation. T plus three minutes, five seconds. You hear the applause in the background here in Hawthorne. A successful shutdown, stage separation, and ignition of the upper stage engine. The next major activity coming up in about 20 seconds, 25 seconds, is fairing separation. We'll watch for that as the camera switches to a forward view showing Intelsat 35E inside the payload fairing. Fairing separation confirmed. Second stage is following nominal trajectory. 
coming up on T plus four minutes into flight. Bermuda we Apple saw a successful paper. separation of the payload fairing. Intel sat 35 e attached to the top of the second stage, now exposed to the vacuum of outer space. We've also heard the call out the propulsion continues to be normal. Trajectory looks good for the Falcon 9. T plus five minutes into flight. Trajectory continues to look good. Propulsion on the second stage engine continues to look good. Everything going well on the flight of Falcon 9 carrying Intelsat 35E. As a reminder, for recoverable first stage flights, we typically might have seen the boost back burn. We'd be getting for, ready for the entry burn. On this mission, the first stage was not recoverable, did not have landing legs or grid fins, so we're not following the first stage. We're going to stay with the second stage as it powers its way into orbit with shutdown of the upper stage engine planned at about T plus 8 minutes and 40 seconds. That'll be the first, uh, first shutdown of the upper stage engine. There is a second burn planned later on as we pass over Africa. We'll be bringing that to you and we'll talk about that a little bit later more. Currently coming up on T plus 6 minutes. Everything continues to go well for Falcon 9 carrying Intelsat 35E. Just a little bit more than two and a half minutes remaining in this first of two planned burns of the upper stage engine. Stage continuing to follow nominal trajectory. T plus seven minutes into flight. Conditions continue to remain nominal on the flight of Falcon 9. Watching the second stage continuing to head east from Kennedy Space Center, going into the first of two planned orbits, in this case, a low Earth parking orbit. Planned shutdown of the upper stage engine is coming up in about a minute and 14 seconds from now. We're coming up about 30 seconds from shutdown. This will be called SECA-1, second, second stage, stage engine yeah, cutoff yeah, number one. At the completion of the burn, we'll wait for the guidance navigation control engineering team to let us know how the orbit looks. Seco. Uh, 
and now you've heard it, we've had shutdown of the second stage engine right on time. Also looking at the GNC trajectory data, good orbital and there we hear also over countdown net, the GNC engineer confirms a good nominal insertion orbit. So this is the end of the first of two burns of the upper stage engine. We're going now into a coast phase. We'll leave you with an animation of the orbit. Our next engine burn on the second stage is planned at just before 26 and a half minutes into flight. We will cover that burn. I'll be back with commentary at T plus 25 minutes. But for now, we're going to have animation of the second stage flight path carrying Intelsat 35E on our way to Africa where we prepare for the second burn as we pass over the equator. We'll be back with you at T plus 25 minutes. Welcome back to the SpaceX webcast of the launch of Intelsat 35E on the Falcon 9. We're at T plus 25 minutes, 30 seconds. We're coming up in about one minute for restart of the upper stage engine. Now the purpose of this burn is to transfer us from the low earth parking orbit into the geostationary transfer orbit. The burn will last about a minute and we've got the view right now as we're passing over Africa from the Gabon ground station getting telemetry and video transferred down to us saying we'll have that for you as long as the link holds on the webcast. So with that coming up T plus 26 minutes let's listen to the burn of the upper stage engine the second of the two planned burns for today. We've got ignition of the upper stage engine, hearing reports that turbine temperatures look good, propulsion looks good, chamber pressures are good. We're underway for a burn that'll last just about 60 seconds. Now, as you can see by the velocity gauge, we started the burn at just under seven and a half kilometers per second orbital velocity. This burn with a 210,000 pound thrust Merlin vacuum engine will bring us up to almost 10 kilometers per second. The acceleration will be just over 5 G's, and as we burn off propellant, we will be throttling down. We're waiting now for shutdown, and then we'll wait to hear how the orbit looks. GNC confirms good orbit for payload deploy. And there you have it. We waited a minute. GNC has confirmed a good orbit for spacecraft deployment. So we did the one minute roughly burn of the upper stage engine. That went well. Shut down. Took a minute. GNC took a chance. Went through the data. Came up with the orbit. Announced we have a good orbit. We're right where we want to be for our Intelsat 35E spacecraft customer. We're going to pause here for a few minutes. The next major event is going to be spacecraft deployment at T plus 32 minutes. Uh, not much to show right now. So we'll come back at T plus 31 minutes and walk you through the last major activity in today's mission.
T plus 31 minutes since the launch of Falcon 9 carrying Intelsat 35E. We're waiting for the last major activity of the primary mission, and that is deployment of the Intelsat 35E spacecraft. It's currently attached to a payload attach fitting on top of the second stage. At about T plus 32 minutes into flight, the Falcon 9 flight computer sends the signals that activate the separation system. Small springs then push the Intelsat spacecraft away from Falcon 9 into the desired transfer orbit. With 30 seconds away, we've got contact over the African ground station heart of Vistok. We're getting the expectation of a view from the payload camera looking forward. And right now we're waiting with everybody for payload separation. Right on time, we had spacecraft deployment, Intelsat 35E, free of the Falcon 9, on its way in the desired geostationary transfer orbit. Video is a little broken up there, but we did hear the call out of deployment, and we did see it on the camera. So that's going to bring an end to our webcast. We counted down. Third try today was the charm. We got through the countdown, launched right on time. The weather cooperated. First stage, an expendable first stage, did its job well. Second stage went through the two desired burns, each time putting us into the desired orbit. And then finally, just now, as you saw, spacecraft separation on time, right where we wanted to be.